Thank you, blessed Jesus. Oh, heavenly Father, the precious God. Okay. Hallelujah. We're glad to have you with us this tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Full. Maybe some will come Lord in a little bit later on. So Lord may lead you. Know, some people have to, like an old time punk, you have to prime them up. Amen. Get them going. It seems like, amen. And after a while, well, they catch up in the go ahead. So we hope in some of them, maybe in the Lord will bless them and touch them. Amen. And speak to them and say, look at here. What you doing sitting at home, you need to be in church. Amen. Amen. People need to worship the Lord. Don't Hallelujah. Amen. God will bless us together. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <coughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Go oh, about an e corner, I guess, everybody. Hallelujah, Lord. God had it. Brother John, will come play with us. Will you stand with us and let's turn to page 110 and sing Heaven's Jubilee? Amen. And just worship the Lord together. Amen.
Hallelujah. Let it be in today. Hallelujah. Glad to see y'all. A lot of our folks, friends, we haven't seen in some time. We're glad you're here. Hallelujah. The Lord is here, so what more can you ask for? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, if you ask for a million dollars, you're not going to get it. Amen. But if you ask the Lord to touch it tonight, amen, he'll supply it. Amen. You know, like, Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. All things are possible to them that believe. Well, if you believe it enough, Amen. You might receive it. I don't amen. know a million dollars. But anyway, amen. The Spirit of the Lord is more precious than gold. Amen, silver, brother. Money, anything that you can get. Hallelujah. And nothing compares to the power of God in our lives. Amen. Okay, we're glad to have back with us the Cashville family. They're going to come right now. Amen. And they're going to bless us tonight through their singing, I'm sure. And then when they get through and take a break, then the uh, local singers are going to sing a little bit until they take a break and rest a little bit, and then they're going to come back and obey the Lord. Amen. And close out as the Lord may lead. Praise God. We're looking for a good time in the Lord tonight. Amen. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Amen. Amen. Where there's liberty, there's freedom in the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Spirit of the Lord is the joy of the Lord. is our strength tonight. Without the joy, we would have no strength. Amen. Amen. That's Bible. Praise God. So we hope you will pray for the service tonight. See God. You're going to find him tonight. He said, come and sing in the name of the Lord. Amen. Okay. Amen. Cash, we'll just give him a weekend. hand. Would you do it? about the love that floods my soul. But I must confess I can't express the 
feelings deep inside me. Me. The things I know and cannot show one day will overflow. I'm gonna let the glory roll when the roll is called in glory. I'm gonna get beside myself when I get beside of the king that day. I'm gonna have the time of my life when the time of my life is over. I'm gonna get carried away when I get carried away. But I'll pass the clouds and shouts aloud. It may sound like thunder. My tear-filled eyes may fill the skies until it looks like rain. I'll leave this world past the gates of pearl and stand before the Savior. I'll let my soul let the glory roll it's from the roll he calls my name. I'm gonna let the glory roll when hey, the roll is called in glory. I'm gonna get beside of myself when I get beside of the king that day. I'm gonna have the time of my life when the time of my life is over. I'm gonna get carried away when I get carried away. I'm gonna let the glory roll when the roll is called in glory. I'm gonna get beside of myself when I get beside of the king that day. I'm gonna have the time of my life when the time of my life is over. I'm gonna get carried away when I get carried away. I'm gonna get carried away, carried away. Salvation. Where a heart out of gas 
story in the Bible it was told about the three Hebrew children and all the idols of gold and how the wicked king commanded that every knee should bow to Baal. They said, do what you must, we're gonna put our trust in a God that cannot fail. Oh, he's a great, great God, Jehovah, so greatly to be praised. I am the God that handles over every mountain saying it's raised. Out of all the gods been worshipped, there's a difference you can tell. Oh, every is the only one that ever gave his son, he's a God that cannot fail. They were thrown, but it didn't take long till the king found out they weren't walking in a furnace alone. When he came to the edge of the furnace, and he first leaned over the rail, he saw Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and a God that cannot fail. Oh, he's a great, great God, Jehovah, so greatly to be praised. He's a God that'll take us over, every mountain saying his rain. simply says, <coughs> blow you the trumpet in Zion. Hallelujah. It says that we ought to be ready and waiting for that Hallelujah. trumpet to blow any day. Glory you know, it God. says Hallelujah. go out and tell people that the Lord is soon coming. And Amen. Amen. That the time is near. Amen. As we look around us and we see sin everywhere, and we see our young people going to and fro, everywhere except church, and as we see people just living with the devil every day, yeah, yeah. we know that the Lord must be coming very soon. Hallelujah. And you know, a lot of preachers have just about stopped preaching that the Lord is coming soon. But you know, ever since I was this high, I guess, I heard that Jesus was coming soon. Lord and we God, just hallelujah. Church, the preacher he preacher coming, he's coming too. And we've been sitting on the back of the road. You know, we can almost feel the fire burning. Oh, glory to God. I'm going to get saved. Oh, glory, glory, glory.
skirts of town, the Lord must leave in Jericho. But when he happened upon blind Bartimaeus, begging by the road, he was crying, Lord, have mercy on me. The Lord said, sight's not a problem for me. Go to your way, you've been changed. Your faith has made you whole. Now there's been a change. the crowd that saved him proud. I'm not ashamed to praise his name because there's been a change. song is a brand new one. We've only done it one time. And I just finished it about a month ago. It took me the longest to write this song of any song I've ever tried. It's the longest song you ever heard. <laughs> so bring your pillows. No, uh, <laughs> this song is taken from Matthew chapter 9, where Jesus stands and he looks at the multitude. It says he was moved with compassion. They had no one to lead them. They were like sheep without a shepherd. Amen. You look at the world today and people are going their own ways and they're trying the best that they can. But they don't know any better. Amen. You see, that's what Jesus said. The laborers are few. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm Hallelujah. Out to go and show them that there is a better way. Amen. They're doing the best that they can. They're only obeying their master. And who is that? Hallelujah. It's Satan. You see, we've been called out of darkness Amen. into the light. And we obey our master now. Amen. And yet we're always pointing our finger at the dirty old rotten sinner. They don't know any better. Because we're not showing them. We're not telling them there's a better way. Amen. Jesus said they're like sheep without a shepherd. We've got to lead them in. Amen. And you look around and we tend to think that the drunk is too too far gone to come to our church. The person that's down in the gutter, we don't want them sitting on the same bench with us. Hallelujah. We've got what I call selective Christianity. Hallelujah. We need to go out, Jesus says, in the highways and the hedges. God. No respect to our persons. Bring them Hallelujah. in from the fields of sin. Hallelujah. Remember where you were before Jesus saved you? Hallelujah. You look out Hallelujah. into the world and there's people that come to church every Sunday and they never witness to anybody. And you will hear those same people say, I, never, I didn't have the opportunity. I didn't see anybody that really needed the Lord. Look around you people. The harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. This song says, can't you see the harvest? Try. 
fight it all. Big and small, when will the heartache end? Aimlessly they fill their lives with temporary pleasure. Prisoners of their own desire, not knowing any better. And those of you who found the way seem to know the score. When lives are ruined, you simply say that's what they ask for. Can't you see the harvest right before your eyes? Feels a golden Unafraid, he 
just like a lion and a bear he slew. But what will I ask would come down to? For the battle's not mine, I give it to you, Lord, each side. Tell little David, sit so tall.
nothing more than just a passing shadow. the church is called the underground church but you know today that the russian church is experiencing the greatest revival it's been since their history because they're looking at the bible and they see that the world is coming to an end and even though in russia if you're a christian you can't hold office you don't have a chance going to college you don't have a chance for much of nothing but you know 90 percent of the christians over there are saying that it's the best time that the Christians have ever had. The church is growing and they're saying, let the government do what they want. We're going to church. We're going to serve God. The young people are accepting Christ as their Savior. Even in the government church. But you know, even though the governments try to put down the church, we shall stand because it's going to last forever. Throughout eternity. Jesus said, Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail. Amen. And when you think about that, the world tries to put you down because you say I'm a Christian. And when you don't bend and you don't bow to the, the gods of this world, they'll put you down. They'll try to put you under your feet. Hallelujah. But you keep standing strong because we shall stand. We're not going under. I want you to listen to that last verse again. But it's still standing strong, it was built to last out through eternity. Oh, we need to understand, we need a revival in this land. Then united all together, we shall stand. We shall stand victorious to win. We shall stand triumphant over. 
Praise God. You know, as long as we're together, we shall stand. Amen. I'm so glad I'm serving a God that's still God. You know, I live up in Winston-Salem, but he's still God down here. Hallelujah. You know, I still feel him down here. I brought him with me. Amen. And if I go all the way across the country, I'm glad that he'll go with me. Amen. No matter where you go, he's still there. Amen. And I can worship God here just as good as I can over there. Praise Amen. God. And you know, I'm glad I'm on the winning side tonight. Amen. And I can worship God. Because just as those three Hebrew children we sang about a few minutes ago, just as they were brought through that fiery furnace, God can do the same thing for you and me today. Amen. Because we're on the winning side. Amen. And that's all it takes is to be on the winning side and to trust in Him and to trust in His Word. Yes. Hallelujah. Are you on the winning side tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. Well, if you've been tired of losing life's wars, you're searching for something or fighting for, then join the army that's proven tried, oh yes. Come on over to the winning side. I say come on over to the winning side. We're following Jesus. we got the banner hill high, high, high. We're God's mighty army and we won't be denied. burn, no, no. We march through the water, Pharaoh just wouldn't learn. And we march through the lion's den. Oh, Daniel, he cried, these lions can't hurt me. I'm on the winning side. I said, come on. We're going to all meet in the air, you know. And if you don't like shouting here, you better not get on a cloud with me, as the song goes. Because I like um, <coughs> the first one and the second one we sung. I think I'm going to get beside of myself when I get beside the king that day. And I'm flying through there. Hallelujah. Are you looking forward to just being with Amen. Jesus and going to that meeting in the air? You know, I'm looking forward to just seeing my Lord and all the troubles and all the sorrows of this world will be gone. You know, we left here 10 years ago. It's been 11 years now. And we went to Winston-Salem. And we lived there for a while. We went to Assembly of God Church in town, which was a small church at that time. But we heard a young lady playing the organ and a mom play, playing the piano. And we just fell in love with the music. At first, we walked in, and, and it was just great, wonderful. We had wonderful services. One day we moved out where we were at. We went by this little church, well, a real big church. And we stopped in and the preacher was playing the organ. And we thought, well, that's the driest church I've been in to be a Pentecostal holiness church, you know. We stepped in there and we thought, well, where in the world is the Spirit of God? And uh, we started that church. We, uh, they asked us to sing that night. And we got up and we sang a song or two and the church got happy and we got happy and, and uh, I mean things just happened, you know, that, what was it, a week or two ago we had happened in our church that happened, the first, huh? We had the Jericho march around the church, Amen. first time they'd ever had it in their life 
And uh, we just fell in love with that church and people, and we stayed there. And Johnny's been working with young people. He has about 30 or 40 young people, and I've been working with the little children in the church, and uh, we've been singing, and we have quartet and several other groups in the church, and the church has been growing. Good preachers, good preaching, and, and the Lord's just been blessing. And that's kind of what we've been doing since we left here. We write a lot of songs. We do a lot of programs, singing programs at different churches, and we just go out and praise the Lord with people. We don't come to sing for you to you look at us and, and say, hey, you know, I remember who they were. You know, they did so-and-so. They were so-and-so. But, you know, we come to just show you Jesus, that he's still in our lives. And we haven't laid him down. I never laid him down. Amen. And Lois May and Amen. Grace, my sister, is here tonight. And as we remember going out to Salem when we were very little, my granddaddy I was a deacon there, and he would put us, all of those four of us little girls, and he would tell us to come up to the front, and he would tell us to sing. And we couldn't sing pretty because we uh, didn't have any music. But, you know, we'd start the song off, and then we would... Uh, maybe make a mistake, we'd start giggling or something, and we would uh, go ahead and sing on. And, you know, I guess we were about six, seven, or eight years old, and I kept singing all my life till I had this voice, and I guess they started singing about the time they were talking good, and we've just been praising the Lord. We haven't let him down because, you know, we he's real to us tonight, Amen. and we want to just do what God wants us to do. We're not here to entertain anybody. We want you to enjoy the singing, but I tell you what, the altar's open. Anytime anybody has a need, we want to come to the altar. Somebody will pray with you. We'll stop singing. We'll get that need met. Because if you go home with the same needs you came here with, you won't be accomplished anything. And if we stand up here and sing all night and leave God's part out, we won't be accomplished a thing. Amen. So tonight, we're just praising God with you. And we want you to praise God with us. Don't look at how we look and how old we've grown, you know, in all these years, but just see Jesus in the songs that we sing to you. And we see some precious people. Johnny and Virginia just came in. God bless you. It's good to see you always. And my Aunt Leela and Lois May and Mr. Joe and uh, Grace Wilson and all uh, Miss Lewis. And, oh, I don't know, just being at Riverside. I love Riverside. I remember many times praying at this altar and Mr. Lewis around here and, and just shouting around this altar. We've had a lot of good services and we still do. And I'm glad the Spirit's still here, aren't you? I'm glad yeah. God is still here, like you yeah. said. We brought him with us and we found him here too. Hallelujah. Because a lot of you still have Jesus and that's what's important. We're going to sing this song, What a Meeting in the Air. It's kind of new and uh, we may not know it too well, but it's, it's a good song. So listen to it.
Hallelujah, oh heavenly Father. Don't be up here and look over the congregation. Somebody oh asleep. Oh some divine genre and some cheering. Oh some from wondering, amen. How in the world we expect the Lord to bless us together unless we come in one mind and one accord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, heavenly Father, the blessed Jesus. Oh, heavenly Father, the blessed Jesus. Jesus said you're still in better shape than these fingers. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, heavenly Father, the blessed Jesus. Oh, heavenly Father, the blessed Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, how happy I will be when I journey here in fun.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen to the words of this song. I'll ask song to be. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a song that the Easter brothers wrote. They said about their dad when he was crossing over to the other side. Amen. Listen to the words. Well, this song, my heart will never break again. You know, our hearts are broken back here sometimes. Amen. Hallelujah. My children, our family, our jobs, our loved ones, and whatever. Amen, bro. We get to heaven, we're going to have a heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember standing at my daddy's bedside. Thank <laughs> you. 
The Lord's been so good to me Praise until God. if I'm asked to try anything, I'm afraid not to do it. Amen. Amen. The Lord's Lord. been so good to me, Amen. and I lay yeah. it for it tonight. Praise and uh, Brother Thomas said, I believe, maybe one boy said we'll finally have church. This is my second time. I went to a council and preached and then come over here. <laughs> Amen. And so this is my second church. And I'm, I don't want to sing. I don't want to sing. Are you singing in there? I, I don't want to sing. You ain't recorded to nothing, are you? We're not on record, are you? Yeah, you're on record. You're on tape, actually. Uh, <laughs> no, you're on Kenny Tim. Hell, you. Wonder making hands. 
said there's no more hope she's gonna die we give her a week we give her a week but you know she's sitting here tonight and that's my grandmother and hallelujah all i got to say is you did it again lord This song is one that means a lot to me, one, one mama does. And it says, while he was on the cross, I was on his mind. You know, he looked down through eternity. And even though it was thousands of years ago, when he was crucified, Praise the Lord. today, he saw this day, where he saw the very day that I was born. And he saw me 
while he was on that cross. You and you and you and I were all on his mind. And he did it for you. Hallelujah.
without the Word of God. And I just have a short message that the Lord gave me. And I would like to share that with you. If you have your Bibles, it's in Mark chapter 4, beginning with verse 35. It says, In the same day when evening was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over to the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind. And the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto them, and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this? that even the wind and the sea obey him. And then from chapter 5, and they came over unto the other side. Amen. Now, first of all, I'd like you to notice the word of God. Jesus said, let us pass over to the other side. Amen. Now, when Jesus speaks the word of God, you can bank on it, brother. Amen. You can take it to the bank. And God has spoken great and precious promises right here in this book, and he's given them to you and me. And I want you to know tonight you can stand on each and every one of them. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But also notice in verse 36, And there were also with him other little ships. Now you can rest assured, you can rest assured that other people, other people will be affected by your reactions to life's storms. Yes, amen. Whatever you do in a crisis, you can rest assured that it's going to affect somebody. Amen. Now here, in verse 37, it says, There arose a great storm, and the waves beat, into the ship so that it was now full. Here there arose a great storm. Now what happened? What did the disciples do? The disciples, I'm sure, were running back and forth in panic with fear. Verse 41 says they feared exceedingly. Now a lot of people when a trial or a test comes, what do they do? They run back and forth. They panic. Amen. They panic. Yes. They forget what God said in His Word. They forget God's Word. That He said He would take care of them. That He said He would go with them through the fire, through the flood. Amen, right. Amen brother. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. you know, just here at my job over in Winston-Salem, Everybody was speaking of layoff. They're going to lay off. They're going to lay off. Now, I, I was heard, hearing of layoff ever since I started. And everybody was saying, they're going to lay off. They're going to lay off. But I said, they're not going to lay off. If they do lay off, I'm not going to get laid off. Now, I was speaking faith. Now, I started that job. It was a good paying job, best paying job I've ever had. And God gave me that job, and I believe God gave me that job. Amen. And I believe the devil ain't going to take away from me what God gave me. And I told them, I said, well, if I get laid off, it will be because God has got me a better job somewhere. Out of there. And sure enough, there came a layoff, and it was last week, last Friday. And you know what they said? We were, we were hired through clock number. And my clock number was 688, and everybody from 688 down were going to be laid off. <laughs> Starting with me, they were going to lay off from me down. Well, come to layoff, they were having a meeting, and they said, we need one more person. Let's keep 688. And so I kept my job, and everybody else was laid off. That's what God will do for you people Amen. if you stand on his word. Amen. If you exercise your faith, God will... All 
the world can go down under the sea and perish. Amen. But if you trust in God, He'll see you through. And if you trust in His Word, what did He say? Let's go over to the other side. Amen. That's what I believe. I believe we're going over to the other side. Amen. Hallelujah. But that's not all. Look at the first part of verse 38. It says, And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And can you imagine that? Here is a great storm, and Jesus is in the back of the ship asleep. Now how many times, how many times have you thought within yourself, Lord, wake up. Don't you see what I'm going through? Wake up! Where are you? Just like a song Johnny wrote, it's a poem I'm sure you've most read. It says, one set of footprints. There's only one set of footprints there. Where is God? Where is God? Lord, wake up. Carest thou not that we perish? But look at verse 39. It says, he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. Verse 40, 41. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and sea obey him? Amen. I want you to see verse 5. It says, Then they came over to the other side. Hallelujah. The Word of God is true. And it works. And I want you to know you can stand on it tonight. You can bank on it tonight. No matter what you're going through, you can stand on the Word of God. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that? Praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. We're going to sing a song now. We're not going to hold you much longer. But you know, in Romans chapter 13, it says, In knowing that the time, it is now high time that we awake out of our sleep, for the now, now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in riding or drunkenness, chambering or weapons, not in strife or envy, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Amen. People, it's time we mean business with God. It's time we go all the way with God. We need to cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. The day is far spent. The night cometh when no man can work. Jesus went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. But today, who is going to carry out his work? Who is going to carry out his work? Casting out devils, raising the dead, setting the captives free. Jesus said, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Isn't that what he said? He said, I am the light of the world. But what did he say when he ascended into heaven? He turned around and said, you are the light of the world. Now, you see what the light of the world did when he was here. Now, aren't we supposed to be doing the same thing? John chapter 14, verse 12 says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The works that I do shall ye do also, and greater work than these shall ye do, because I go unto my Father. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Hallelujah. The works that Jesus does shall we do also. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Are you a believer tonight? Are you a believer tonight? If you're here with a need, I want you to know that God can meet that need, whatever it is. I've told you of one miracle that happened in my life, but there are so many, so countless to mention. I just, I read a a saying the other day, it said, what was it? I don't believe in miracles. I rely on them. 
I rely on God. Every day, I rely on the miracles of God. That's what gets me through the day. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, God is calling leaders today that will trust in His Word. And people, there is a mighty revival going out to the world that God is stirring up the people who will trust in His Word and believe. Now we can either be a part of that or we cannot. Jesus came as our shepherd and He fulfilled the promise. But He has put the responsibility in our hands to be leaders, to be men and women of faith. Now let us stop playing church. Amen. We need to stop playing church. Let us put the power within us to work. God has given us power. Power. I like that word. Power. All power in heaven and earth is given unto me. And what he's saying, go ye therefore and in my name cast out the devils. Speak with new tongues. God, hallelujah. We have the power, people. We have the power. That same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead lives in you. And if it lives in you, then it quickens your mortal body. Now, either the Bible is true or it's a lie. If it's true, then that's belief. If it's a lie, let's junk it, let's trash it, let's burn it, let's throw it away. But if it's true, then let's step out on it. Let's put its power and its promises to work in our lives and in the world so that we can be fruitful in everything that we accomplish, in everything that we set our hands to do. Isn't that what he said? Everything that you set your hands to do will prosper. Isn't that what he said? Hallelujah. Jesus said, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. I thank you for that. People, we have the, the power tonight. Church, we have the power. We're going to sing a song that says, We've got the power. And if you have a need in your life, I want you to bring it to God. Me and Brother Tommy and all those that believe in faith, we will pray over you. And the prayer of faith will save the sick. The prayer of faith will set you free, whatever you're bound with tonight. Do you believe that? Hallelujah. Give me your hand.